right here, there's a very cool salamander and some Appalachian streams that serves as an indicator species for a quality bear. Yes, you're thinking about the hellbender salamander. Now, Della, you've already seen this one, mm -hmm. but let's let everybody else watch. Seriously, just watch. For the most part, you're not going to see them. Even though they're these giant salamanders, they blend right in with the bottom of the water. Their skin just blends right in, and their body shape allows them to, to get in these spaces under their rocks. People may never see them, but in healthy rivers, they may be there, and they probably are there. It's part of a healthy ecosystem. It's part of a healthy river system. Hey. Look at of course, we're the hot spot for, for salamanders in the world, and our rivers and streams have some of the highest fish, crayfish, freshwater mussel diversity as well, and certainly some of the best hellbender populations remaining. Different types of rocks provide cover, places for food, places to hang out and stay away from predators. If you snorkel and you look and see a hole, you'll see a hellbender head sticking out, and that's that guy's home. I mean, he might have that rock as his little home for years and years. They seem to just spend the whole year feeding and doing their own thing. Then around the end of August, early September, all of a sudden, something triggers the males to go completely crazy and they start fighting with each other. Females are drawn to certain rocks that, have, that a male has staked out as the best nesting rock and he'll, he'll defend that rock. You can pretty much imagine that any mountain stream or any, any of the foothill streams throughout their range, throughout the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, up into Pennsylvania, probably had hellbenders in the past. I think it's safe to say that we've probably lost 80 or 90% of the populations that used to be around. I think people are starting to get the connection between some of those healthy fish populations and things like hellbenders, and it is all connected. People care about water quality, whether it's angling, uh, rafting, boating, just swimming and wading. We all want to do that in healthy rivers and streams. Think about that may be water that you drink someday. So just the focus on healthy watersheds and keeping those streams healthy for, for organisms such as hellbenders. And maybe there's a chance to restore a lot of streams and bring them back to better help under habitat, which means better habitat for everything else that used to be here. Hellbenders are so ugly, but yeah, so amazing. Yeah, you know, you're really lucky if you ever get to see one because so many streams and watersheds have too much sediment and pollution. So hellbender salamanders are no longer able to survive there.